Hey guys, what's up? So in this uh, video, we're actually going to be, I'm, I'm extending this tutorial series and I'm kind of going in different directions now. And, and the Django website that we had been building before is not going to be something that I'm building in this, uh, or continuing to build in the tutorial series. Um, but what we're looking at in this video is how to extend, uh, or uh, how to implement Django registration so that a user can sign up uh, and log into your site and things like that. So uh, this is just a, a simple uh, application that I have. Um, so it's just a typical Django 1.9 application on Windows. I'm using Postgres as a database. And um, all of this stuff, uh, hopefully you guys, if you're following along in the tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of, of you know, this app because um, there's nothing special going on here. Um, so, all right, that said, let's see. Um, first things first, we need to go to our command line. And I need to go ahead and pull that up. So... All right, um, so the name of my project is called Mice. It's a long story. All right, so if you're using a virtual environment, then you have to follow this step. You go into your virtual environment, and you need to activate it, which is under scripts if you're in Windows. And I just say activate, so now I'm in my virtual environment. If you don't have a virtual environment, don't worry about any of this stuff. But then we need to do pip install Django registration. Now with Django registration, I was just going to let you know that there's apparently there's a two-step process, which is typically what you see with websites where you have to validate your email address. That prevents a lot of uh, spam and stuff like that. Uh, but then some people choose to have a site where it's very easy to register, where you can you know end up doing stuff with the site uh, without having to do email verification. Uh, that obviously gives way to people that can you know spam you, have multiple accounts and things like that. Uh, one such site is Reddit.com. You can see like um, with Reddit, you don't have to actually verify your email, so you can create new accounts very easily. Uh, but they have other mechanisms, I guess, to try to fight the spam that they get. All right, so um, one of the first things that we need to do is add account activation to our settings file. So uh, this is a toggleable feature where you allow um, the account, if it's pending email verification, you know, for somebody to actually go into their email and click on the link to verify the account. Uh, that's the amount of days that you can provide. So you can make it larger than that, but seven's the default usually. Next, you have to make sure that you have Django Contrib Auth and your installed apps. Now Django should have that already in there by default, but that is needed for this project. All right, next we need to go to the URLs file of our project, and we're gonna add one line here, and we're adding accounts. And then it's gonna use the Django registration project that we just installed. All right, the next step, um, I'm not sure if this is uh, valid or not. I have not tried to use this project, but it looks good to me. Um, this guy created a Django registration templates project, so we're going to try to make use of that. So let's go ahead and just download the zip for the project. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract this registration, because all this is, this project is just simply Django HTML files that are needed for the registration process. That way we don't have to make them ourselves. So we'll use uh, some sort of zip extractor, take this downloaded file, and we're going to extract the entire registration folder to our Django project templates folder, which I is somewhere around here. All right, I'll go the long way. So C projects, there it is, mice. Then I have my templates folder here. All right, so I'm going to just get, say, okay, it's going to extract it right to my projects template folder. Now we should have everything we need there. All right, let's go ahead and try to uh, restart our application. Well, actually, with mine, I'm using um, PyCharm, which should reset it every time. But I'm going to go ahead and visit this link. Uh, 
right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to go forward slash accounts, like login. All right, it looks like it's not finding our templates. That's not cool. All right, so if you look at uh, what we have here, you can see that the actual template in the registration folder is actually being hit, but where it's missing is it's saying it's looking for this base.html, which doesn't exist. And uh, we don't want, uh, so everybody's site is different, right? So every, you most likely have a uh, layouts folder. So let's look at my template directory. I have a layout folder, which is like my main layout. So I have like the layout one, I guess this is my main layout. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll just use layout one. So what I need to do is I need to go in, this is going to be kind of tedious, but I have to go in, instead of saying all this crap, I have to say forward slash uh, layout slash um, layout one dot html. And I'll just copy this whole line. I may or may not need that forward slash. I'm kind of thinking I don't. For right now, let's just go ahead and try login. So that way, since that was the page we were testing, so if I go ahead and save that, I don't think I need that first forward slash. I don't remember. All right, so it still doesn't exist. Is it looking? Okay, so it's looking for the right thing, which is fine. So let's get rid of that forward slash, which I don't think I need. All right, there we go. All right, so this looks uh, obviously terrible. If you're using Bootstrap, uh, what you would want to do is uh, go into go into here. Uh, Bootstrap, you should put everything inside like a div container. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, div class equal container. All right, so <sighs> hell. All right, so I don't feel like doing all this right now, but um, let me see if I put it in the container now. Now uh, changes. In fact, while I'm in here, just in case you guys are using Bootstrap as well, all your input buttons and stuff like that should be of class equal form control for nice styling. Class equal Shit. Sorry, the sun's setting where I'm living right now and I need to turn on the light because I can't see a damn thing. I was looking at my keyboard, I couldn't really see anything. Actually, since this input down here is a button, we want it to be like BTN and BTN primary. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so it looks a little better. We obviously need to make these inputs use the same class form control, so that'll make it look prettier. Now, I don't want to get too much into styling the form. If you guys need help in, in styling the registration form, let me know. But I, I feel like this, this tutorial is getting off on a tangent when we're talking about styling instead of actually figuring out, figuring out how to implement this. Um, so for, for now, let's just go ahead and do the extend statement at the top. And we're going to go ahead and replace all these uh, with the right master page for it to look at. So you guys get the main idea here. I'm going to just go with these for right now. And we're going to go, instead of login, we'll go to register. And we're not going to worry about the styling, but my username, I'll just say test1. 
I'll use my Gmail address. All right, now the reason for this error is most likely because the project doesn't have send mail or any sort of uh, mail client set up for it. So let's go ahead and look at, at our settings file again because that's where this is going to need to be resolved. Yeah, you can see there's nothing in here that has anything to do with email. So let's go ahead and uh, add that to our settings. We're going to say from up at our import statement at the top, say from Django Core, mail, import, send mail. All right, actually, guys, um, don't worry about using send mail in the settings. Just go ahead and delete that. Um, what you want to do instead, um, just go ahead and copy this down. Um, this is specifically if you're using uh, Gmail. So say you have a Gmail address and you just want to use that as your, your website address to send and receive uh, emails from. That would be fine. Um, a lot of people use mail servers or pay or do something like that. And um, I typically just try to use my Gmail address, um, but it's not you know all that professional. So anyway... The point is, though, is that no matter what email address or mail server you're trying to use, the settings are going to be slightly different. But for Django, uh, the good news is you just have to use uh, these settings here. Um, but you're, it's going to be different depending on what you're using. So if you want to use Gmail like this, I'm 100% sure it works with Gmail. I just tested it. Um, email port 587. Uh, make sure you do all these settings here. Um, make sure you're using your email back end. Um, I put, you know, make sure you have your right password down here. So this will be your password. And uh, just a, a test, we'll say default from email, like job mice. Um, so this looks, this all looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put in my real password and then go ahead and um, close my settings file and then we'll, we'll test it out. All right, so now that I've done that, let's go ahead and uh, start the, the site. We'll go to register. My username will just be Chris Hawks. Email. Make sure you give the right email address. It has to be a valid email in order for you to receive it. And all right. So this is fine. This is um, it's because we didn't change uh, the base for the register complete template. That's why we're getting this template not found. If we went over to registration complete and we changed this over to the right to the right thing, um, we wouldn't have that that template not found. Uh, but you can see that um, if I go ahead and pull up my Gmail account, All right, so this is the email that I just received in my Gmail account. And you can see that we can customize all these settings, but the localhost Django address sent me this. Uh, link is valid for seven days. You can customize all those messages based on the template. So if I went ahead and clicked on this, it should take me to the account activated. Um, yep, and there it goes. And you can see down here your account is now activated. So obviously we didn't worry about styling and look and feel and all that stuff, but now you have a uh, actual actual you know registration a verified user which is really cool so you can go to accounts login and I can do my name Chris Hawks which is the name of the user that I just created now I log in um, now you can customize where it re re uh, redirects to this redirected to an accounts profile page which obviously doesn't exist uh, but Yeah. Anyway, so I'm logged into the site. So normally, um, you know, you would. Yeah. So basically, I'm, I'm logged in at this point. So that all works. And um, you can customize, you know, the Django registration behavior so that users have different groups. And then you check for whether or not, you know, they belong to a certain group to see certain p pieces of your, your application. And you do all that through, uh, you know, the, the combination of uh, Django code on your views and also through the template. But anyway, guys, uh, this video just shows you how to get a working registration. If you have any questions or if you have anything, uh, any suggestions or ideas that I should expand upon to um, give further example, because um, we can definitely go a lot further into like customizing 
you know, unique profile pages and stuff like that. But no, there's a lot, there's a lot of documentation out there for that. Um, this complete example here, though, is a full working example. Uh, even though it looked a little ugly uh, at times, we weren't worrying about styling or anything like that. It was all just uh, functionality, so it all works really good. And that's it, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Please upvote. Please subscribe, and have a good day. Bye.